in order to be of service to the world, it's very important to be able to go inside yourself and come to terms with your weaknesses and your strengths. So there's that, but then also, just musically, it's a great show. Hello, everyone. Welcome. So the story of this, it really centers around a drive. I grew up in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, uh, but I was actually born in New York State. My mother and father were divorced, and subsequently my mom moved to Canada, back to Canada where she was from. You know, 87 to the Taconic to, uh, you know, then crossing the border up to Montreal was, was a well-traveled route that is imbued with, with so many memories from so many different periods. I felt it would be an interesting voyage to take with my therapist and talk uh, just about my impressions uh, over the years. But then it's also interspersed with some concerts that I did at McCabe's Guitar Shop, where we are now in uh, Los Angeles. So it's also about this relationship between geography and songwriting which is very profound. <laughs> there are these certain moments where something is said that echoes in your mind for the rest of your life. It echoes and echoes. And, and Anna was smoking a cigarette and having a drink and being very charming. And I was a teenager at the time, and I said something like, oh, you know, what's my life going to be like? You know, I was just feeling down about my world. And she very pointedly said, you know, you know, Rufus, you have an incredible legacy to uphold. So I think partly what's, what's interesting about this concert and, and about making music here is that it is kind of long overdue uh, in, in terms of my legacy. I mean, my father and mother both performed here in terms of a mecca for songwriters. So it's very important to come back to these kind of places and, you know, celebrate the, um, that legacy. I knew that there would be kind of a cosmic uh, coming together <laughs> if I did the shows here, and I think that was a nice sort of um, counterpoint to, to the drive as well. And she's never said anything remotely like that ever right. again. Right. <laughs> but that one time, she sort of, I think she just saw my true worry and, uh, and just filled that crack <laughs> with that concept. This is a song called Saratoga Summer Song that my mother wrote, and it was, it was sort of uh, reminiscing about her days in Saratoga Springs uh, when she was young and and, and without care and without children. <laughs> I feel like we're in an era right now where people need to be more introspective. Um, there's so much happening uh, around us that is so troubling and so kind of confusing and we're kind of bombarded by all this information and, and, uh, and all of this kind of struggle. And I have found uh, personally, that um, the best way to to be of service, to be you know useful in, in the in the battle, is to really you know understand why you're doing this and kind of what's what's really happening within you. One of the most fundamental rules that I've learned in my life with therapy is that you're never going to get what you expect, and usually by the end there's like a whole other. <laughs> tectonic plate uh, that is uh, that is really, you know, calling the shots. I think this, this journey and, and also singing these songs has been part of that, a sense of discovery. Mm -hmm.